Hello, today we're looking at Fedora 27 Beta and as you can see, it's a beautiful release. I love the new wallpaper. It's, I love the blue, which we are familiar with, with Fedora. I love the cleanness, but also the in, how it pulls my attention and not overwhelm me. It's a beautiful choice and I love it. And yeah, Fedora, it comes fully supported, fully supported with, with Valent as we all know. And that's awesome. But if you try to install this in a virtual machine with a virtual box, you just get a black screen. And that means that virtual box have to pick up the game if they want to stay ahead of the game <laughs> because yeah, it's not really Nice, no, I had to install this with, on bare metal on the, I use my own workstation and place a testing hard drive inside of it and install it. I'm using a SMI recorder and Audacity. So it's not my normal setup, but I want to look at Fedora. It's a perfect combination as this is GNOME 3.26, so it's the latest release. As you can see, it's GNOME 3.26, Fedora 27, it is kernel 3.13. Ah. Terminal. And then As you can see, it's kernel 4.13. So it's the latest kernel and it's the latest of GNOME. You can tell it by the new system settings. The wallpaper is still the same except for the default one. So we can expect it in a stable release. It should come quite soon. And yeah, it's just a beautiful stock experience. As you can see, this is the official release notes. So they say it's coming soon, the Fedora server, and they announced the release of Fedora 27 Beta. You can download it from the website. What's new applications, Library Office 5.4. So it's the latest Fedora Media Writer. Fedora. Media Writer Interesting <laughs> And Library of Swap and Forest here Spin, la Spin and Labs, KDE, no significant changes It's all QT 5.9.1 now XFCE running XFCE 4.12 as expected bringing stability improvements but no new features design suit updates new version of Blender Entangle GIMP Inkscape security yeah so that's basically it in this Release notes, as you can see, it's release notes, as you can see, it's Firefox 54. We were just there right now, as you can see, and it is the best of GNOME. I love Fedora for the sense that it's the latest of all the, it's the latest kernel, it's the latest of GNOME, it's the latest of everything, and Yet it's a stock operating system. So it's nothing. They didn't add their own stuff to make it, to take the, ex the stock experience away or to, or to change it. It's the stock experience in a nice package. It's the best available. And 
dit wat hy laf wat, dit wat hy laf wat vir dag het, stie as een stok, stok feeling, en, I guess it's why, if you love Fedora, that must be the reason, because it doesn't get a, it just gives you what the designers want you to have, and isn't that amazing? And I really like it. I love GNOME 3.26. The tweak tool you will have to install from the software center. If you want to minimize and maximize buttons, it's all there for your own joy to enjoy. So, but in general, there's not much more to say about this beta release of Fedora. It is, there is a few bugs, like, as you can see that I, my internet works fine and everything, but it doesn't want to open the social center correctly. My weather isn't loading correctly. But besides from things like this, all the apps are running GNOME 3.26. And that's not even necessarily included. So it's just, yeah, it's just beautiful. I really, really like it. And I think they've done a great job. And it's just a peer, peer release of Fedora. Yeah, of GNOME and Fedora. And I can't wait for the final release. You can report problems and system monitor. It runs at about 1.8 gigabytes of RAM when I'm running Audacity, so it's quite a bit, but then again, we are used to it now. <laughs> so yeah, I like it. I think it's a great step. It's a pity that it doesn't work in Wordlebox, but I don't think it's Fedora's fault. And I just think we are in for fun times. And I can't wait for the stable release. Thank you for watching. See you later. Goodbye.